thing we did was complex fractions. Our goal was to make sure one fraction in the numerator and one fraction in the denominator using adding and subtracting from the last slide, the last example. One fraction. <coughs> then what did we do? We multiplied by reciprocal <laughs> of the denominator. Yeah, and then we simplified. Okay, so I need to find my LCD of the numerator. What is it? X plus 1 times X minus 1. So I need to multiply the first fraction by X minus 1. And the second fraction I need to multiply by? X plus 1. And I get X minus 1 plus X plus 1 over X plus 1 times X minus 1. Okay, I'm writing it as one fraction, skipping the step where I write the two separate fractions, all over X over X plus 1. So my numerator becomes 2X over X plus 1, X minus 1, all divided by X over X plus 1. Then I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator times x plus 1 over x. What is going to cancel for me? x plus 1 and the x. And what's left? 2 over x minus 1. <coughs> 